So if you look at the engineering curriculum, I would argue that it's probably one of the most rewarding curriculums you can do. If you really want to have positive impact on people, on community, on national problems, international problems, global issues, you can't do much better than engineering. It really, engineers are really at the center of uh, solving some of the most pressing issues that we encounter today. But I would also argue that engineering is one of the most challenging curriculums that a student can pursue in college today. Our philosophy at Cornell is that if you have the ability to gain entrance to the College of Engineering, you have all the skills, both social and academic, to succeed in our undergraduate engineering program. If that's the case, if that's axiomatic, then our philosophy is that we really should be supporting the students as they move through the engineering curriculum towards getting a degree in engineering. All of the offices and organizations that you see on this slide are really devoted to making sure that our engineering students have the resources necessary to succeed in our engineering program. I'll focus on one, and that is our engineering advising office. We have a suite of dedicated advisors that exist in the College of Engineering, and their function really is to make sure that our engineers have a successful experience in the College of Engineering and have the resources, the good counsel, and the advice necessary to succeed in our program. Probably the most important thing that they do is what we call intrusive advising. That sounds ominous, but basically what it means is whenever our engineering students will complete an examination in the College of Engineering, our engineering advising staff will receive their grades. If a grade falls below a C, the engineering advising office will reach out to the students to find out what's happening. Perhaps they're overloaded in courses, perhaps they're ill and can't succeed in the course at that time. Perhaps something's happening at home that they need to take care of or is distracting them. The engineering advising office is really designed to support those students, reach out to them, find out what's going on early, get the students back on track as best they can, and move them forward in the process so that they're able to keep moving through their engineering program. It's a great example of supporting the students and really giving them the resources that they need to be successful in our engineering program. And at the end of the day, that's our fundamental goal. For any student entering the College of Engineering to pursue a Bachelor of Science degree in engineering, our goal is to make sure that they have every opportunity to move towards success in our engineering program.